all of us here at Retiring Wheel want to welcome you to the show this week. We have some great topics laid out for you and hopefully this education helps you build on your retirement success and retirement confidence. First, what does your retirement savings amount have to do with how long it's going to last? Whether you have a lot, a little, how is that long and that going to last for your lifetime? Second, we're going to be getting into what do you need to know about investing in precious metals. Jack and a special guest is joining us here this week, diving into that and getting you a great education about precious metals and what to be looking for. Then thriving in retirement. When we talk about retirement planning, we don't want to just exist in retirement. We've worked hard for 30, 40, 50 years. We want to thrive in retirement. What does that look like and how can you plan to do that? And to wrap things up, the Roth five-year rule. What is that? And does that directly impact you and your plans to do a Roth IRA? All of this this week and so much more here on Retiring Well. Retiring Well, brought to you by Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors specializing in retirement planning and serving all of Northern Michigan. Retiring Well, helping you plan for a successful and comfortable retirement. Retiring Well, plan to retire well. How long will your retirement savings last you in retirement? That's a great question, and it depends on so many different variables. Um, in fact, you can go and take a, a quick look online, go to one of these little calculators that they have, and I found one myself. Um, so take a look at the screen here, put in a couple different variables to look at. Um, with this case, we said, hey, let's, uh, let's assume a 5% annual rate of return. Let's say that you're in the 22% tax bracket, and let's say that you have $500,000 saved for retirement. And then throughout retirement, you're going to pull $2,500 per month from that $500,000 that you have saved. So based on this quick calculator here, it's saying that your money is going to last you 27 years. So if you retired at 62, your money's good until age 89. That's great, right? It sounds great, but is that really true? Right? Um, you know, th there's a lot of different variables that go into solving for those numbers. Um, and this quick calculator, it doesn't cover any of them other than investment returns and, you know, the, the total portfolio size. Um, but things that you really want to take into account are inflation. Um, investment returns, it's not always going to return 5%, right? Um, what about taxes? Are taxes for the next 20 years going to be at 22%? Probably not. They're probably going to go higher, right? We got $34 trillion in national debt. So how do we account for all these different variables and see how long our money is going to actually last in retirement? Well, we have a great software program here at Centennial Wealth Advisory. It's called Retirement Analyzer, and it allows us to really put in a lot more variables but no program is going to be perfect. What about those unexpected expenses that might come up down the road? So that's why today I really want to talk about different ways that we can potentially make your retirement savings last longer in retirement. Okay. So one way to do that is through what's called the 4% rule. So you might have heard of this, you might not, but it's a very, very simple rule. And all it states is that you should not pull more than 4% from your portfolio year over year and adjust for inflation. So let's say that that scenario there that I went over, you've got $500,000 saved for retirement. Well, the 4% rule would say that you shouldn't pull more than 4% or about $20,000 a year from that $500,000. That equates to about $1,700 a month. Okay. Now, this strategy has been studied immensely throughout history. And history, of course, is no guarantee of future results, but it has shown that it's a safe withdrawal rate in retirement. Uh, another option is called a dynamic withdrawal strategy. Um, this one is a little bit more complicated, um, but it involves pulling money out of your portfolio depending on how the portfolio is doing uh, during that calendar year. So, very simply put, if the market's doing well and your money's doing well and growing, well, you take more money out in good years. And then if the market's not doing well and your money's not growing as much, well, then you don't take out as much 
in the bad years. Now there's a lot more complexity to that. So if you're interested in something like that, you definitely wanna meet with a financial advisor and really dial in that plan to your wishes. And then the other one is called income floor strategy. And basically how this one works uh, is you figure out, okay, what are my essential expenses in retirement? And then you develop an income plan based around just those essential expenses in retirement. So for an example, let's say that you add up all your expenses, your mortgages, um, your car payments, insurance, taxes, all of that fun stuff, and your total expenses are $4,000 a month for essential things. And then let's look at your lifetime income, okay? Social Security. Let's say you're married, you got two Social Security payments. Let's say that Social Security adds up to $3,000 a month, okay? You got a $1,000 shortfall there that you need to meet your essential expenses in retirement. Well, you could take some of that portfolio that you've saved and go and use some of that to buy a lifetime income product, like an annuity for an example, and bridge the gap. And so a lot of clients, they get a ton of peace of mind with this strategy because they know, okay, my essential expenses in retirement are covered with contractual lifetime income. And of course, the money that you're not using for those essential expenses, uh, you're investing in the market and using for discretionary things. So there's a couple different strategies there to potentially make your funds last longer in retirement. If you have any questions or want to develop your own strategy, please don't hesitate to give the number on the screen a call. We'd be happy to help. In today's day and age, with a longer lifespan, you're more likely to encounter both good and bad market performance. For that reason, when planning for retirement, it's increasingly important to seek guidance from a financial advisor who can help you structure an income strategy that reflects your financial situation, risk tolerance, and investment objectives. You don't want just any advice, but objective financial advice. With so much at stake, it's important that you feel you can trust a financial advisor to consider a wide variety of possible solutions, including both investment and insurance products. Here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we're not beholden to any certain investment tools or vehicles. We're independent. We can offer a wide variety of investment tools to, that meet your needs. So please, if you have any questions or you want to schedule an initial consultation, don't hesitate to give us a call at the number on the screen. We're happy to help in any way that we can. Remember when life was simpler? When things didn't move quite so fast and the world didn't seem so complex? Remember that? We do. And as the world around us has continued to speed up, becoming more complicated and still a bit uncertain, we have managed to keep things simple, providing sound, easy to understand financial advice and customized roadmaps for the road ahead from tax reduction strategies, investment advice, and guaranteed retirement income you cannot outlive, backed by the claims paying ability of insurance companies. We can be your single point of contact, a single call, a voice you recognize well, and a partner who can be by your side for the entire journey. We can't stop the world around us, but we can help ensure you're prepared for what's to come. To schedule a no obligation meeting, simply contact us today. Every business says they're better. But the ones that earn and display the BBB seal back it up. It instantly identifies businesses that are committed to operating with integrity, honoring promises, and telling the truth. Makes you wonder why every business doesn't have it. So look for it, because it's looking out for you. That's why it's the sign of a better business. And find a better business anytime at BBB.org.
Hey, welcome to this segment on how to invest in gold and silver. You know, it's a question that we face quite often with our client base. Hey, I've heard that you should always buy gold, silver, it's God's money, we need to invest in this. But then the question is how? Who do you turn to? Who do you trust? How do you figure that out? So I have a very special guest here, uh, Jason Nichols from Wexford Jewelers. And so Jason, why don't you tell them really quickly what you love most about your job? Uh, something new every day. We get to we get to play with shiny things and, and heavy things, and yeah, it's fun. Um, yeah. And so as you're, you know, you've learned a ton over the last 17 years here, I'm sure. Uh, what, are there anything that sticks out as far as your educational goes about, you know, failures in your learning curve of sure. what happened as you were trying to figure out how to safely invest in gold and silver? Yeah. So I actually, I started out buying gold over the counter from our clients. Not even knowing what I had, and I, I melted it down and cast it into jewelry. But lo and behold, I was I was melting these very valuable coins and making rings out of them. So it's trial and error. Okay. Yeah, and I had someone, a gentleman, come alongside me, and he yelled at me, and then he taught me what to do right, and we've been yeah. friends ever since. Yeah. That's awesome. So you got a mentor, and yeah. you got a partner in there, and so you know, if a client's going to go, you know, and start, they say, "Yep, I want to buy some gold and silver." Where, what, what questions might they ask, and, and where might they go to to start that learning journey? Sure. So first thing, when they come in, you know, I always try to ask, "How much do you want to spend, and what are you looking for? Do you want something to trade short term, or do you want something to sit on long term, and then maybe give to your kids or use for?" retirement, you know, I try to feel what they want to do with the precious metal. Perfect. So find their mission and what they're trying to accomplish yes. and then reverse engineer it. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. And so, um, yeah, well, I have some, some manipulatives and, you know, when I think about, you know, gold and silver and that's what I'm investing in, I'm going to, I'm going to put it in the safe. Yeah. You know, you gave me a couple examples. So we have this. Can you tell a us kilogram. about that? So that is a 1000 gram bar. It's a kilogram, about 32.16 ounces. Okay. Yep. And, um, so and then there's another example here. This is, I know you can't see this at home, but this is this is actually pretty heavy. So, you know, is this also legitimate? That is legitimate. That's a hundred ounce bar. Uh, Engelhart stamped that. Yep, hundred ounce bar. And how do you know? Is there any quick way that you could do to test to see if it's real? Sure. So gold and silver, silver is always going to have a little magnetic push pull to it. Um, you know, so I carry this magnet around. And you can you can drag it over and you see the resistance and the, the and you could try it. The okay. magnet almost sticks to oh, it, yeah. right? But not really. Yeah. You can like see it see actually it like yeah. drag. And you know with silver yeah. coins, it'll it'll almost pick it up a little bit. Okay. But not stick like steel, you know. So okay. that you, and you usually know. And the sound too. It just has a, a nice natural ring to it. Okay. And so that's probably gonna be hard to do online or somewhere yeah. else you probably wanna. There's a lot of reputable places online, but you know, I always tell people go somewhere local where you can touch it, feel it, see it, hear it, you know, smell it if you want, mm -hmm. take a bite out of it. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right, there you go. And then uh, there's another example here. So this is, can you tell us what that is? So this is a 10th ounce uh, American Eagle. And these are great because it's what we call fractional. You okay. know, it's they're small pieces. It's like having a $20 bill in your pocket Okay. Uh, with gold. Um, the only thing that we recommend, you know, with fractional, try to get it as cheap as possible because the premiums on those are usually generally high. Can you explain that? So like how much gold in this little bar, and try to explain to your kids that this is actually very valuable. Sure. It's, it's a chore. Don't lose it. <laughs> Don't lose it. But you know, how much might we be looking at with this 10th yeah. ounce right here? So right now I wrote some, yeah, I wrote things down. Uh, gold is $2,326 an ounce. That 10th ounce Eagle online right now is 312. It doesn't sound like a lot, but at the end of the day, you have to think, well, I'm paying $3,120 an ounce when gold's only $23.26. So, this, you know, that's a, that's a big premium for a little piece of gold. So, what I'm hearing is you might want to buy in bigger chunks, uh, yeah. the ounce maybe, or, or yeah, bigger? if you want gold, buy an ounce, okay. you know, because you're going to spend the least amount of money. Okay. Um, or if you only have a few hundred dollars to spend, uh, silver's a great option for that as well. Yeah, and so would you equate the silver purchases that you can get in smaller increments? Uh, let's see, I think I have one too. That might be more like your fives, tens, fifteen, twenty dollar bills, yeah, and your yeah. gold as your hundred dollar bill. That's a great way to put it. Yeah, gold is a hundred dollar bill in your pocket. Silver is going to be, you know, your one dollars, your two dollars, your your little things that you'll trade for for smaller. 
And um, yeah, so what other kind of um, things might they look at when it comes to silver when they're when they're buying? You know the formatin. You know some people want bars, some people want rounds, some people want uh, constitutional, which is ninety percent quarter silver dimes. I even brought some of this. This is a little bag of silver casting grain mm. that uh, yeah. that we get from our refinery. So you can see it in all sorts of forms. Mm. Uh, but again, it really pays to go to someone local who can tell you, yes, this is what it is. And so if our clients, uh, or anybody rather that is sitting there watching, if they wanted to get a hold of you for the start of their educational journey, what? Sure, yeah, you can look us up online. Uh, Wexford Jewelers, like the county, um, we have, uh, you can call us. Um, and if it's something I can't help you with, uh, we would be more than happy to point you in the right direction. And a good phone number? 231-775-1289. Jason, thank you yeah. so much thank for you. being here and all the manipulatives. Yeah. And I really hope that you found that valuable, educational, and a little bit fun. So have a great day. 57% of employees say that finances are the top cause of stress in their lives. This is one of many findings from a PwC survey. Human resources managers and business owners, we will partner with you to help your employees. At Centennial Wealth Advisory, we focus on education and the health of the whole person. We offer a complimentary financial wellness workshop with food provided for your team. We all want our employees to be productive at work, but most importantly, we want them to flourish in every area of their life. Living life isn't always easy. It puts up challenges and obstacles you'll have to overcome. There are responsibilities. You put in effort to provide and take care of your family. And to save and invest, to balance work and life. Planning is the first step to succeeding. Plan to retire well. Here at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we feel education is paramount to wise decisions. Your retirement should not be left to chance. Our team of advisors has put together an educational half hour long program to discuss the many complex decisions you'll be faced with in retirement, including income, investment, estate, taxes, and health care. Tune in weekly to learn about all these topics and so much more or visit send-wealth.com. Whether you're in retirement or still years away from retirement, have you taken the time to think through what you want to do during your retirement years? At Centennial Wealth Advisory, we want you to be able to thrive in retirement, and I'm sure you want the same thing as well. Thriving in retirement looks different for everyone. Uh, some people want to be snowbirds. They want to head to Florida and uh, escape the Michigan winters. Other people love to travel, so they want to, whether that's traveling around the country, traveling to visit family, or going overseas, you know, travel is this thing that they're really focused on. For other people, they would rather stick around here and do things that they enjoy in the northern Michigan area, spend time with family and friends. So whatever it is that's important to you to in retirement to do, you know, you want to spend time thinking about that and planning for that, you know, so you have the freedom to do what you want during your retirement years. You know, I think a big thing to think about once you know uh, what you want to do during your retirement years and how you want to spend them is to figure out how much money you're going to need then to do that. You know, you're obviously no longer receiving a paycheck from an employer once you retire, so you're going to be responsible for coming up with the income that you need in retirement. So when you think through that, and once you know what you wanna do, and you know obviously roughly the income you're gonna need, you need to look at that in detail. So you have your income needs in retirement, also your expenses. So what are your expenses gonna look like in retirement? You know, we believe you can be confident about what your retirement income needs will be, uh, and how you're gonna meet those needs. And once you retire, you're likely gonna pull your income in retirement from a few different places. You know, this could be from your social security, pension, investment accounts, rental property, or any other income sources you might have. You know, if you're concerned about your income in retirement, you're not alone. AARP in April 2024 said that 61% of Americans age 50 and up say they worry they'll not have enough money in retirement. The two most common sources of income in retirement are Social Security and your investment accounts. You know, a big common question I get with Social Security is, when should I start drawing Social Security? You know, and there's really not a one size fits all answer when it comes to that. With Social Security, you, you have factors to consider. This includes your physical health, 
your marital status, and really your income needs at the time. There are other factors as well to consider. But outside of Social Security, the other common place, as I mentioned earlier, is pulling income from your investment accounts. You know, this could be from your 401k, your 403b, your IRA or brokerage account, some people will even pulling money from their bank. You know, a mistake I see a lot of clients make is they don't think about their taxes in retirement. You know, taxes is something that we're all very familiar with now during our working years, but also you're going to have some tax liability when you retire as well. A common question I get is, Virgil, are you able to help me plan to retire well? And the answer is yes. Here at Centennial Wealth Advisor, we are focused on financial education. And this is evidenced by the fact that we spent the last decade airing our educational television program all over Northern Michigan. In addition to retirement planning at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we offer tax planning, estate planning, 401k rollovers, social security planning, Medicare health and life insurance solutions. If you are already retired or you're still working, we'd be happy to meet with you for a complimentary free review. We want you to have the freedom to thrive in retirement. The free review meeting would take about one hour, and this one hour has the potential to change your financial situation for the rest of your life. You can schedule this complimentary meeting on our website or by calling our office. We look forward to the opportunity to sit down with you so that we can help you plan to retire well. Life is a journey filled with uncertainties, especially when it comes to retirement. Sometimes a pitching change is just what you need. Our team at Centennial Wealth Advisory specializes in retirement planning, serving all of Northern Michigan, with offices in Traverse City, Gaylord, Petoskey, and Cadillac. We'll work with you on a holistic approach that includes income, investments, health care, taxes, and estate planning. Centennial Wealth Advisory, plan to retire well. Click or call for a no-cost, no-obligation consultation. Your grandchildren are precious to you. They are your life. This is your time to have that special relationship. Taking care of yourself is taking care of them. Centennial Wealth Advisory is offering a free, no-obligation retirement review to make sure you don't run out of money during your retirement. Centennial Wealth Advisory. Your best is yet to come. Make the most of Social Security. Although Social Security isn't designed to cover all of your income needs, it's an important part of the retirement puzzle. Download our free booklet on the Social Security decisions at sin-wealth.com and learn how to optimize Social Security for your situation. Why timing is so important when it comes to your benefits. Ways to supplement your Social Security and more. There is no cost and no obligation. Simply go to sin-wealth.com, scroll down and click the download link to get your free booklet on the Social Security Decisions. If you like watching Retiring Well, make sure to go to youtube.com forward slash retiring well and click the subscribe button to never miss any of our TV shows and other informative videos. We talk a lot on the show here about Roth IRAs. You've probably heard us over the years mention this countless times and talking about how the benefits of these and all the various things that are out there. Today I want to take a couple minutes and talk about maybe one of the things that uh, could catch you or maybe is an unknown piece that we want to be aware of when we're talking about Roth IRAs either through contributions or conversions. So with Roth IRAs there's something out there called the five-year rule. Meaning that as you make a contribution, we'll talk about first and we'll get to conversions, but as you make a contribution to a, a Roth IRA, there's a five year waiting period before you can truly get the tax free distribution on the back end. And they look at this as a tax year. So what does that mean? So if I make a contribution to my 2023 Roth IRA, and that's the first time I've ever opened that account, and it's the first contribution I've ever made, I now have a five-year period that I need to wait before I can get all of my money back and the interest it's made without taxation. Now, again, the, the important piece is they look at it too from a tax year. So let's say 
we make a contribution in April of 2024, but I do it for my previous year. I haven't filed my tax return yet, and I give it, put my Roth contribution in and for my 2023 tax year, even though I'm making, writing the check, let's say on April 15th of 2024. Well, you get the benefit of basically starting January 1st of 2023. So you, that's when your clock starts. Now you have five years from that April, or I'm sorry, January 1st, 2023 timeframe, five years from there to get that benefit. Well, what if you can't wait five years? What if you need to get in there? Well, if you can, try to get in and take the contribution money out because that's kind of like a return of your own money. It's just the earnings that would be subject to any taxation and such during that timeline of that first five years. Again, other things have to apply as well. Remember, these are retirement accounts with 59 and a half, so there's not early distribution penalties and such like that. So a few other things that we have to be careful of, but specifically talking about that five-year rule. So again, this is pertaining to the first contribution you make in the first Roth IRA you have. Once you make that first IRA contribution, that clock is running, and then future contributions, you don't necessarily have to wait that five years, once you've started that clock, fulfilled those five years, you, you can make contributions all along there. They're looking back to that first one. Conversions are treated a little bit different. So five-year rule on Roth conversions, meaning I'm taking a pre-tax or traditional IRA, paying the taxes and converting it to a Roth IRA conversion. So they're looked at on a conversion by conversion basis. So let's say I do a $20,000 Roth conversion in 2023. I need to wait right now five years till 2028 to, to get my full tax benefits for that particular one. Let's say I do another $20,000 conversion in 2024. Well, now I need to wait till 2029 to get the benefits of that one. So. For tax planning purposes, and for if you're considering doing some of this and, or for trying to do it yourself, just be aware of the timing for that. Why is it important for you? Again, when do you might need the money? We like, when we look at these, usually the benefits, there, there can be some great benefits to Roth conversions. There can be some great benefits to Roth contributions. Again, depending on your specific tax circumstance, but again, we also have to look at the timing of these and when you may need the money. Now, sometimes life events happen and the money is needed in advance, and then we need to start looking at how do we can we extract some of this money on a very specific basis and not pay any taxes or penalties, again, through looking at the, the basis of that and such like that. So Roth IRAs can be a wonderful tool, but like many things, pay attention to the details and some of the things that are out there so it doesn't trip you up and cause a problem down the road and have any unnecessary taxation you weren't planning on doing. If this is something you'd like to talk greater about, get into more details, or see how Roth conversions or contributions could benefit you, give us a call at the number on the screen for no cost, no obligation, and visit with one of our team members here at Centennial Wealth Advisory. Until then, keep watching our show. We greatly appreciate the time you spend in this. Check out our YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe to that so you can get future notifications of new shows and new content that we put out continuously, trying to make sure that we keep our community educated about retirement planning so you can plan to retire well.